Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. Diabetes is a serious health condition today. I'd say that millions, if not billions of people are at risk of falling into this chronic disease. Now, a lot of these people know that they might be having a bad diet or be eating or having a sedentary lifestyle. But the thing about diabetes is that there are other factors, three of them most, more specifically, that really accelerate your chances of falling into diabetes, even if you have a good diet, if you're not eating sugar or you're not eating carbs. So what are these three factors that accelerate the appearance of high blood sugar levels that increase your risk for diabetes. This is what we're gonna see today. So number one, first factor that increases your risk for diabetes is stress. And before you even say a word about stress, let me tell you something that you might not know. Stress is a process where it's obviously the fight and flight response of our body. Our body reacts to something that we might be facing, for example, maybe I don't know, problems with our family or money issues that we have, but sometimes even how fast and how much we think about things every single day. The only thing that we cannot control sometimes because we're not aware of them are our thoughts. And being constantly active with our brains activates that stress inside our bodies and produces, guess what? First of all, cortisol, which cortisol then makes our liver release sugar into the blood, metabolize fat, which is kept in the liver, and then release it to the blood, increasing blood sugar levels. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't know that being stressed out or having a problem that they have to solve, let's say, for example, I don't know, my mom, my mom has an accident and I have to solve the problem. And I get so stressed out with this problem that my sugar levels go up to the sky for an extended period of time. If I had insulin resistance, if I had insulin resistance at the time, and I'm going through stress, for example, for a month, two months, maybe a year, or something is happening in my life, I will fall into diabetes because I was already predisposed to fall into this disease. So if you are having a good diet every single day, if you're keeping track of what you eat, if you're making sure that you're not eating sugar or whatnot, you have to also make sure that you are not overly stressed out. Stress is one factor that not many people are considering can cause or can be a very important risk factor for diabetes. If you need something natural that can help you rest well at night, reduce stress levels, and stay calm the way you need it, look for melatonin, Neuromatrix, and 5-HTP from Fineland at FinelandVitamins.com. Number two, a bad good night's rest. A lot of people also do not know that not sleeping well, and I see this very, very often when I ask a patient, for example, are you sleeping well? And that patient says, well, yes, I'm sleeping. And the real question is, are you resting? Are you waking up the next morning feeling energized? Do you feel that you actually got some rest? Do you feel that your body is actually metabolizing or resetting its biological clock to produce insulin within the normal ranges of what you eat every day and the control of sugar that what you have. A lot of people don't consider that having a different schedule every single day, meaning you're going to bed at 9 and then the next day you're going to bed at 11 p.m. and then the next day you're going at 1 because it's Friday, I don't know, you go for a drink or whatnot, well, that's messing up your metabolic cycle. It's actually messing up your sleep which is then gonna be carried on to insulin production. It's gonna be carried on to organ function, pancreatic function, metabolic rate, and everything that we are talking about is obviously gonna get messed up because there is already an insulin resistance. Sugar is gonna build up, your, your body is gonna be unable to metabolize sugar and fats appropriately, and you will see a greater risk for diabetes. So if you're not sleeping well every night, if you're not controlling that biological clock, which is something natural you need to stay healthy, which by the way, if you don't, you will see that you get fat easily because you're not sleeping, you're not resting, you don't have that good hormonal balance during the day, you will see that diabetes becomes a very serious risk factor. I've seen people and I see people all the time and I see that people that have a chaotic life, they eat healthy maybe, but they have a chaotic life with what they, how they sleep, how they go to work. They don't have a set schedule every day. They change it every single day. They don't sleep well. They are at greater risk for diabetes. 
So be careful with that. If you need something natural that can help you and help your body control sugar more easily, naturally, that will help your body also improve the control for blood sugar and circulatory system. Look for Appleizer Metaglucose and Dia Aid. I like it in powder form more than in capsule form in file at filandvitamins.com. Number three, your thyroid might not be working. Well, apart from the things that we already know about diabetes and blood sugar control, eating too many carbs, uh, eating too much sugar, and obviously having a bad diet and a sedentary lifestyle, not many, not many people consider thyroid function. Guess what? Thyroid function is your metabolic rate. If your thyroid is not working, then your metabolic rate is not working. If you feel sluggish, if you feel that you're getting fat easily, if your hair is maybe falling off slowly, if you see that your hands or your skin is a little dry, your thyroid might not be working and your metabolism might be slow. Guess what happens when your metabolism is slow? Well, the sugar you eat, the foods you consume, will not be used as energy. They will be saved up. You will see insulin resistance. Everything gets stagnated, and then you see problems, health problems, like diabetes, poor circulatory system. You see a problem with blood pressure. You see a problem with uh, obesity or being overweight, and sometimes nothing works. It doesn't work because your thyroid is not working. So pay attention to these three very important factors. Make sure that they are working. Make sure that you are not stressed out. Make sure that you are sleeping and make sure that your thyroid is working. If your thyroid is not working, nothing in your metabolic rate, in the burning of sugar, fats, triglycerides, everything you have in your blood that has to be used as energy is going to be burnt and used the way you want it. If you need something natural that can help your body improve that thyroid function, support that health that not only has to do with your thyroid, but also with your skin, the energy you have, the way you feel, how much energy you feel every day to do the things you want and you love, look for metathyroid. Appleizer and multivitamin Kirkyu Health from Phylet at phylemensvitamins.com. Check out these other videos related to this topic. If you need other things, maybe um, a comment, a question, leave it down below. I will answer it and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget that like button.